In an earlier update, Superintendent David Brown said the incident itself was captured on city surveillance cameras or pod cameras. From that video, they were able to track some of the suspect's movements, and tonight, investigators believe they have a strong lead. He ran into the tunnel. A male black with a red bandana, dress, and jeans. Tonight, investigators are tracking down a suspected killer who allegedly stabbed a 31-year-old woman in the back in downtown Chicago. We suspect this likely is a homeless person uh, that secreted himself in the bushes and came out and committed this heinous crime. This happened at 4 p.m. near Wacker and Ben Buren. Chicago police described the area where the woman was stabbed as secluded near a homeless encampment. Superintendent David Brown says it's possible the woman was caught off guard. And it's high shrubs, as you can see in that corner, right adjacent to the crime scene. So likely he secreted himself. Likely the victim didn't see him till he came out. The 31 year old was taken to Northwestern Hospital where she later died. Investigators say the whole thing was caught on surveillance video, including the direction where the suspect ran away. We are following uh, the trail on the pod uh, video camera that this suspect walked down after he committed this crime. Uh, likely uh, disappearing into the underpasses here. Earlier today, evidence technicians thoroughly canvassed the area, including CPD's Marine Union. Brown said investigators are confident they will be able to bring this suspect to justice. We're going to catch this suspect. We have some strong leads. We have it on video, likely a homeless person. Uh, we don't want to speculate any further than that. Superintendent Brown says they do have a cooperating witness who they're working with to get more information on that suspect. As for the 31-year-old woman, authorities have not yet identified the victim.